Hey guys, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to Cage Straight Up. Sad, but so. It's so sad, but summer is slowly coming to an end and with it comes the excess of summer vegetables, like this zucchini here. Now, I'm a summer girl, I'm a beach bum, I love it, I hate to say goodbye to it, but there's some fabulous recipes that we can use the end of summer harvest for and we are going to do one of those today, zucchini fries. Now, not sure if zucchini is big in the summer everywhere, but here in Jersey, this thing grows like wildflowers. My neighbors are giving them to me. My parents are giving me zucchini. I have my own zucchini. I have so much zucchini, you can only grill it up so many times before it gets boring. Another favorite in New Jersey, pork roll and Taylor ham. I made that into fries earlier, and you should check out that video as well. But I love to make some of my favorite things into fry size dipper pieces that are amazing. So, today guys, I'm Kate Straight Up. We are making fabulous zucchini fries. So first, we gotta get this zucchini into fry size shapes. So we're just gonna chop off the end here. I don't like it, it's ugly. And we're doing it with the butt as well. Totally not called the butt, I'm calling it that though. Then we're just gonna kinda chop it down the center. So we can chop it into our fries. Now I personally like to work with smaller pieces, so we're just going to chop it in half. So you're going to take your quarter slice here, you're going to chop it right in half, and then chop some nice fry size pieces. So they're about this size when you're done. Now one thing I totally forgot to mention, we are baking these fries so that they're actually not fried in any heavy oils. So we're just gonna sprinkle them with some salt, let them chill for a second, soak up that salty yumminess, and then we're gonna sprinkle them with flour before we give them an egg wash, and then do some breadcrumbs as well. So after you give them a sprinkle, you could kind of just rub the flour on top of all of your zucchinis, just give them a twirl in it. So we're just beating up two eggs here so we could give our zucchinis a nice little egg wash. So just dump them in, make sure they're well coated in flour. You could do it all at once if you just make sure they each get a nice coating. Make sure they're getting that egg on them. Might take you a second, but we're looking pretty good in here. You're just going to dunk them into three cups worth of breadcrumbs. I added a little bit of garlic powder, some extra parsley, salt, pepper, and onion powder. And you know, ooh, losing my zucchinis. You don't want too much egg coming in, so just kind of give them a nice little, little drip before you drop them in. And then we're actually gonna shake this Tupperware up so that these breadcrumbs evenly coat our zucchini fries. So you can start, kind of see here through our clear bowl, we're just shaking them till they get a nice coating of those breadcrumbs. This is kind of risky. All for the camera, right? And then we're popping them into a 425 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Important step, we're gonna spray our pan. We're laying a cooling rack over our pan here. That's how we are going to bake these. After you spray, you're just gonna lay them out nicely across your pan. They could be close, they're not expanding too much. I'm totally not a lefty, this is always hard guys. I need to use this right hand, ah, it's killing me. But you're just gonna lay them out onto your pan, scrape off any ex extra breadcrumbs, and that's it. Last step, we're spraying the tops so they get a nice crispy fried texture. So just with your cooking spray, 15 to 20 minutes in the oven at 425 degree heat until they get nice and soft and crispy on the outside. If you want to raise up that temp and do five minutes longer to really crisp them up, more power to you. And there you have it guys, some delicious homemade baked zucchini fries that I'm serving today with some homemade marinara and my homemade knockoff Big Mac sauce. There's a recipe above, guys. Go ahead and click on that video next. If you have any questions, guys, do all that below this video. How great is a French fry that you don't have to feel super guilty about? I'm about to dig in myself. Comment, guys. I love to hear from you. And other than that, I can't wait to see you next time.
बाय बाय